Welcome to another session of Sunnah Followers Hadith class. And this is a class wherein we are discussing uh, the hadiths uh, uh, compiled by Sheikh Muhammad Saeed Atli and his book entitled Once Upon a Time. Once Upon a Time. And today we're going to discuss a hadith that is very short, but it's a hadith that carries a lot of meaning and a lot of reminder for us. And let me put the hadith up on the screen. Uh, mm -hmm. So let me put the hadith up on the screen so we can discuss it now, inshallah. And uh, for those of you who have not yet ordered the book, Once Upon a Time, you can go to www.atleonline.com and order this book. This is a picture of the book. The book is available. It is only $2. That is not much money at all. So uh, please, for those of you who have not yet ordered the book, go to the website atleonline.com and order it. And let's uh, look at, take a look at this hadith. Well, this hadith can be found in Sahih Bukhari and Sahih Muslim. Both of these authentic uh, books relate to us the story, whereas the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam shared the story of a man who came from the people before us. He was dressed in two striped garments and he had his hair brushed backwards. And he was walking down the street admiring himself. He was so proud and so haughty of how he looked. He began to think, no one looks as good as me. No one is as handsome as me. And he was walking the earth with his head up high, really believing this. So he ended up causing a law to become angry with him. Because one of the things that Allah hates is arrogance. In fact, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam told us in a beautiful authentic hadith that arrogance is the cloak that Allah wears. Okay, so the only one worthy of arrogance is Allah. And Allah hates anyone who walks around the earth pompous thinking himself better than others because such a person is competing with Allah. So Allah became angry. And as that man was walking, Allah caused the earth to swallow him up and sink him down into it. And I'm sure you guys have heard of uh, sinkholes. In fact, it was on the news uh, several years ago, a woman and a man were caught up in a sinkhole. They were out uh, gardening, hoeing in their garden. And uh, Allah caused the earth to form a, a hole and sink them down into it. And it took the fire department and the police department to try to pull these people out of this sinkhole. So Allah caused the earth to swallow this man up and sink him down into it. And Allah was so angry the prophet said that that man is still sinking in that earth as we speak. He will continue to sink down into the earth until the day of judgment. All because he thought he could compete with Allah. All because he thought he was so handsome, so beautiful in his striped garments, you know, with his hair slicked back. You know, this is a hadith that we need to ponder. Because how many of us walk the earth with our hair slicked back, we know, thinking that we all that in a bag of chips, thinking that nobody on earth looks better than us and we're better than everyone, everyone's beneath us. You know, this is a high deep need to think about because, you know, Allah, perhaps Allah will cause you, perhaps Allah will cause you 
perhaps the law will cause you to sink down into the earth as a result. So uh, is there anything, does anybody have anything to share about this uh, wonderful hadith? Sabrina, if you're talking, I can't hear you. Can you guys- Okay, oh, wait a minute. Oh, no, it's off. Okay. Asalaamu Alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I really, I, I'm between, uh, it's, it's scary, but it also makes you ponder. It really makes you think, you know, about the way that, you know, we carry ourselves in this lifetime and how we should not forget that everything comes from Allah and Allah is the one, Allah is the one worth praising, you know, not ourselves. You know, we can't get to the point to where we think so much of ourselves that we forget who is really Allah, you know, and who is really the creator and who's in charge of everything that we get and receive, you know, and it's, it's so easy for some people to to do that, to forget that, that Allah is the one that deserves to be praised. You know, we, we get so haughty and, you know, arrogant, as you said, that we forget who, who is really the one that should be praised, you know, not ourselves. And we can't treat ourselves like, you know, we did it all, you know, when we did nothing. We did nothing. Allah does it all. Alhamdulillah. Yes, that is so true. Uh, Sister Sahara, what would you like to share? Go ahead. I was just going to say, like, I see um, this a lot. Like, some people who are, like, blessed with, like, beauty, sometimes they, like, go the extra mile to think that they look better than any everyone and, you know, praise themselves and just, they're just think very, very highly of themselves. And I'm like, okay, but Allah gave you that beauty. You're supposed to praise Allah and not be too, like, self-centered. Just be thankful, have confidence, but don't be, like, overly confident that you forget that Allah is the one who blessed you with that appearance. Exactly. And so often as human beings, we forget, like Allah says, the Quran, man is forever forgetting, you know, the favors of his Lord. And instead of blessing and thanking Allah for the favors that Allah has given him, man wants to uh, uh, praise himself for that. And this can be the, the out, this can be the result of that. Yes, go ahead, Sister Anissa. Alhamdulillah. I would just add that we have to be careful when we're around other people, that we don't allow them to bring out the arrogance in us. Because sometimes it's very, very hard to deal with certain people that you are around a lot. You become so much like them. You don't even realize that you are becoming arrogant when you are not with them. Because you're thinking about the stuff that you've done or talked about with them, and you sit there by yourself and become arrogant for the hell of it and don't even know why. So we have to be careful of that. Exactly. Such great advice from Sister Anissa because we are a reflection of those whom we hang out with. And if you're hanging and we're out with arrogant people, it's going to rub off on you. You may not be aware of it, but others around you will be. Yes. Anyone else would like to share? So I guess this is a wonderful hadith. You know, we hear about it all the time. And I remember when I went over this hadith in another class, someone asked me, what is, can the earth really swallow you up? Yes, yeah, sinkholes happen all the time. That's called a sinkhole, Google. Uh, sinkholes are caused by a law. He calls, tells the angels, I want a sinkhole to happen. And it happens. And if a law is going to suck you up in that ground, can you imagine being sucked down and down and down? At least when it happened several years ago where I live, they pulled a woman out and her husband who was in a garden. But imagine if Allah don't want you pulled out, you're going to keep on sinking like this man. He's sinking and sinking further and further and further until the day of judgment as a punishment. You know, subhanAllah. So another great hadith with a beautiful lesson. Don't be so arrogant. Arrogance belongs to Allah. Instead, be thankful. There's nothing wrong with being uh, thankful for the beautiful clothing that you have. 
There's nothing wrong with even liking to have beautiful clothing, but to take that clothing and think that you are better than everyone else because of it, this is where we run into the problem. So we don't wanna fall into that as Muslims. So I'd like to thank everybody for joining and participating in this uh, session of our Hadith class. Please make sure everybody is here tomorrow. We'll have all of our regular classes. We'll have uh, the Quran Tejwi class with Dr. Asim, which will be at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Surat El Qiyamah. And then uh, we have my class at six, the, story, the angels. And then we have this Hadith class again tomorrow night. So, Subhanakallahumma wa bihamdika, ashadu an la ilaha ila anta, astaghfiruka wa atubu ilaik.